Hello, I'm Jim Moulton, and this is my website for martial arts and fitness exercises. A lot of people say right now we're in this healthcare crisis. By doing different exercises on a regular basis, every day, every other day, a few times a week, you can maintain your health into your latter years. If you want to do a little bit extra, a little extra effort, I think you'll get a lot more benefit out of it in the long run. There's so many exercises that you can do instead of having to go to the doctor all the time. I see people that I know, they'll take the time, complain for a while, then they'll go to the doctor, which takes time to get there, then they'll sit in the doctor's office for a while, finally get in to see the doctor, and then they're told that they need to get a prescription. So now you gotta spend more time, more money to pay for not only the doctor visit, but a trip to the pharmacy to get medication. And the end run, it only masks the problem. It really doesn't fix what caused the problem in the first place. So my suggestion is that on a regular basis, you do some of these exercises. If you do find yourself having some kind of chronic injury or problem, do the exercises also. Movement is what helps heal the body. Blood flow, circulation, circulation of the energy is what fixes the body. Not pills, not medication, not sitting around. Those types of things help, but they don't fix the problem. For example, your neck's been bothering you. It's a little stiff on one side, maybe pinch nerve or something along those lines. You can try an exercise like this where you turn your head from one side to the next. Just nice, slow, easy movements. And then up and down. So you're trying to increase the range of motion without straining or forcing your neck to go into those positions. Side to side, up and down, ear to your shoulder. Do that for five minutes and it's gonna make your neck feel better or don't do anything, and then a few days from now it feels pretty much the same and you end up going to see the doctor anyway. There's exercises for your shoulders, where you start to circle them, small circles, and then gradually bigger. As you feel like you're able to do it, and your shoulders get more comfortable doing it, you can twist more. Turn your spine and your shoulders together. From there, there's rolling your shoulders. Just trying to increase the range of motion, getting the blood moving where it's not going because of the injury. And from here, extending your back, extending your shoulders. And then from there, evolving into trying to make a figure eight pattern. These are all shoulder and neck exercises. They don't take that much effort, but you do have to do them. You have to put in some time if you want to get the results from doing it. Neck and back problems, they're connected. You can do an exercise like this, where you start to stretch each of the vertebrae. As you lengthen your spine, tension is released. And then back up, one vertebrae at a time. That's one exercise for the back. We're turning to the side, and then releasing the tension. And then stretching further if you're able to, and letting the tension go. Same thing on the other side, reaching over, and then down, letting all the tension go. There's movements for your hips. I'm just trying to, again, get the muscles to loosen up, get the blood to flow, increase the circulation. Just some simple exercises like that, which evolve into this exercise. Now, for some of you, you might have weak knees. So this exercise might start to feel a little painful for your knees, or it might make it feel better. It might loosen them up. Knee exercises you can do from here, where you're sinking down, holding for a few seconds, coming up, sinking down, and coming up. Careful to keep your knee over your ankle, so you're not putting more undue stress on the knee, but instead building some knee strength. From there, if your knees are able to do it, put the balance on one leg, point the toes, and pull back. Some of these exercises might take more effort. You do it one or two times, you're not going to get much benefit from it. Maybe 10, 20, 30 times, a minute, five minutes. The more you do it, the more you can get out. If you're able to do that, you might try something like this, where you're working on not just the knee strength, but strengthen your thighs and your balance at the same time. So what I'm trying to say is, instead of waiting for someone else to take care of your health and well-being, you can do it yourself. Empower yourself by doing a few exercises a day, a few days a week. Not just any exercises, but ones that are relative to what your body needs. If it's a body problem, you need to fix it. 
If it's your cardiovascular development, you need to get the blood moving. If your stamina is weak, all these different things are things that you can improve by doing exercise. Don't wait for someone else to tell you how to do it by uh, telling you to go to the doctor or taking some kind of pill. You can do it with exercises. Thank you.